In design, as we know it, we were taught, you know, it's something that's really an integrated process, it's something that we, we sit down not only in our teams, but we, we invite in other, other perspectives, our clients' perspectives. We're finding ourselves with maybe easy ways to present, but is our design thinking really changing in this? Are we really, you know, hand to paper? Is it, uh, is it the models that we're building? You know, what's really giving us that other level of inspiration and making us uh, try to look at these environments and these spaces in a different way? What we design in architecture, you know, all these different environments from healthcare to educational environments to just living environments, all of these do have and do take a different, um, a different perspective to them. Our perception, our experiences, all those things are brought on into it. And, and if we limit that to just our designers or just our architects, I think we've also brought a limitation to what that could be. Now, virtual reality itself, there's a lot of different tools that are out there. And when it comes on down to it, it's really in your perspective and not just your visual perspective. You can bring clients inside these environments. You can walk them through something that we believe we're explaining and communicating really clearly. But in many cases, they really, they're really ideas. We see space differently. Just adding that next level of perspective is, is really important. Uh, an environment like the, the Star Cave, which really is a fully, uh, fully immersed environment. And when you're standing inside of this environment, you truly do feel that you are, it's as close to real as you can get these days. Um, and the tools are getting much more simple. And actually they're, they're becoming wireless. You're actually able to track your eye. So for wayfinding, for a variety of different uh, uh, sort of uh, cognitive studies. Once you're in a virtual environment, you're able to not only um, uh, create another level of perspective, but you're able to also gather a different level of data. We wanted the client to really understand what those next moves were. We were now bringing them inside the courtyard. We were bringing them outside on the prow, walking them to the areas they knew and they could feel every day they, they live in this place. And then being able to say in the Star Cave and look at what phase two is going to do for you. I'm not to put any level of, of, uh, of real difference between a client and the architect, but the bottom line is to get the same ownership the same idea, the same understanding, the same language. And in that, that's really what we were trying to achieve.